Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Today the topic I wanted to talk about is what is electromagnetic waves? I know you've heard of them and for those that haven't, those are anything that is computer technology related. Do they have energy? You betcha. You know, my family laughs with me because every time I get near a computer, it stalls. It's been like that for years. I can be right behind you and the computer literally will stop. It freezes. Um, I, I, yeah. <laughs> I just sit and I think about it for a minute. It's like, you know, when my daughter is editing photos, um, she knows when I'm right behind her without even hearing me. She's like, Mom, stop, go back. <laughs> and her poor, poor computer is frozen. I was, you know, with my um, insurance investor and financial investor, and we were sitting in his conference room. And he's trying to get on his computer. He goes, well, that's funny. It was, I haven't had any problems with it. And it was a very large room. So I got up quietly and I walked to the other side of the room. And he goes, oh, I got it now. As soon as I went closer to him, it stopped. It did that on and off for five minutes. He could not understand it. And I told him, well, of course he knows me for years and he knows what I did. But I said, you know, it's the electromagnetics and it's my energy that's compromising your computer to work. He goes, really? I go, well, let's keep doing it. Every time I sat next to him, it stalled. I got up, went about 12, 13 feet, booted right back up. Why does this happen? Because some of us are stronger than others. You know, I started to look up electromagnetics. I wanted the scientific version of it. And it says here, when an electrical charged particle moves under acceleration, electrical and magnetic fields are produced and transmitted. These fields are transmitted into the form of waves, okay? And then I started to think, I know there's different types of electromagnetic. Which types are out there that are very profound? Radio waves, microwaves, in light, visible light, ultraviolet light, x-rays, gamma rays. I thought that was really interesting. So how can electromagnetic waves affect you? Well, if you're around the computer too long, you can start getting some headaches. I get profound headaches. Um, sometimes you feel nausea. Sometimes you will feel tingling throughout your body or one side of your body. And I tell people, get up. And take a break. If I'm doing a Zoom session in between my clients, I make sure to always go to the washroom and walk around to kind of sh shake it off a little bit and go to the next person on the Zoom. Because after a while, I can feel all these waves and energy going through my body. It's very interesting. So Pay attention to how these things make you feel. We are in a world of electronics. I'm not gonna knock them because I use them myself, but there has to be balance and limits for people as sensitive as I am. Because when you're around it too much, it's going to affect you in different ways. And we don't want that. I will never have my cell phone in my bedroom when I sleep. I know most people do, I refuse to have that. Um, because it, it gets in the way with me trying to sleep. And that's something really important. If you have to have your cell phone in your bedroom, you should have it at least 12 feet apart. Because most phones today are on 5G and they have enormous electromagnetic. And yes, for people like me that are sensitive, if you're sensitive to spirit and you're an empath, you're going to be sensitive to electromagnetic waves. It's just the way it works. So this is something that I want to say. Sometimes you'll feel a little dizzy, you'll feel nauseated, you'll feel weak, you'll have these headaches. You are going to feel all of these things. Um, airplanes, that's another one. They have a lot of radar waves. So everything has a current, but it's up to who you are to see how it's going to affect you. Mobile phones, you know, um, a lot of people have gotten brain tumors why don't hold your phone to your head 
Don't put your phone in your bra or your back pocket. Um, and yes, scientifically, it's been shown that people have gotten cancer that way. So your usage of your electronics, you have to keep a balance because if you don't, you're going to have a hard time and it is going to affect you spiritually and physically. It's just too much. Too much of anything is just too much. You have to have a balance. Um, I did write down some crystals that would probably help you. I'm a big fan of crystals because they can counteract what we're feeling spiritually and energetically. I always say, you know, my favorite stone for this would be black tourmaline. Black tourmaline will really help you. I say never order stones online. And anyone who says yes, no, it's wrong. You need to physically feel the stone and feel the connection that you're getting with the stone. If you feel no connection, go into the barrel of those same stones, find another one. You may have to go through six or seven, but anybody who tells you, oh, you can order it online, about, yeah, you can order it online, but you're not going to resonate. You have to have a personal relationship with your stones. It's very, very important. So I would say black tourmaline, if you get that, get three of them. Get one for each computer that you sit with. Keep one in your pocket. Keep one next to the phone by your bed stand. That will actually counter the magnetic waves from going into you. Okay? Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, citrine is another good one. Rose quartz. Hematite. Um, pyrite. Uh, these are really good stones to help you. I keep them everywhere. I keep them on my desk. I keep them in my pocket. I sit them next to every phone, every computer. When I'm traveling, I keep everything. When I'm doing a paranormal investigation, I have my set of stones that I keep on my body, hidden. Stones are as sensitive as human beings. They can help us in a strong way. And it's very, very important to recharge those stones Recharge them in the sunlight. People go, oh, in, with the new moon. You can do that, but not enough. Do it once a week in the sunlight. Recharge them for an hour or two outside. Sage them. Sage across them. They love it as much as we need it, and we love it. But electromagnetic waves are here to stay, and I'm not knocking it, but what I'm here to tell you is they're real. They can cause a lot of side effects to how you feel so it's real you're not making it up but what i'm here to tell you is some of the things you can do to offset it and i'm here to remind you of your balance this is very very important there has to be a yin and a yang and it's a balance to everything everything that you bring in that has balance will be more successful in your life so i hope this was a good food for thought for you and you can be more mindful learn to take little breaks because this will really really help your energy i hope you have a, a blessed week subscribe to facebook youtube and instagram and always more to come you take care bye bye